the angry video game nerd needs no introduction. He's probably one of the most iconic YouTube fit goes on the internet. His hilarious his cuss ridden reviews, who's about terrible god awful games, games from the N mostly from the NES, but also from other platforms related, really, even to the new millennium. His content is funny, and everyone has swell memories of this nerd and his wild antics. But what if I told you that there was one episode of the show that James, the creator of the series, doesn't want you to know about? A review of a certain famous awful game that was too disturbing even for the show standards. What episode am I talking about here? Well, join me today as we read the story that's titled AVGN ET of 2600. Let's begin. There's not much of a story here, but I feel compelled to type this. So I guess I'll start from the beginning. One day, I was looking around on YouTube to see if the Angry Video Game Nerd, or AVGN for short, has made any new episodes. The only one on the James Nintendo Nerd channel was Ghosts and Goblets. For whatever reason, lately he's been releasing brand new ones on YouTube as opposed to usually releasing them on game trailers. So I watched it. It was the same kind of funny madness you expect to see in a Nerd episode. Not perfect, but considering that he was working on Monster Madness and putting together footage for the AVGN movie trailer and doing other numerous projects, I was not complaining. I was just happy to see a new Nord episode again. I was going to type a comment on the video when I saw a person's username titled James N Nintendo Nord. I'm guessing the double N in there was since the original name was taken. The comment read E.T. and that was it. So I clicked on the name out of genuine curiosity. It took me to a channel much like James's channel. There was one video named AVGN E.T. at 2600. The video had zero views and had been uploaded today. I wanted it just to be the first viewer. I... I really wish I haven't done that. What happened next made me regret ever watching AVGN. First off, there wasn't any type of theme song whatsoever. The video just started showing James looking at the camera very sadly. Well, you asked for it, he said with a frown. Not to the traditional mad frown, but just a depressed one. You sick pieces of filth. He continued again with the frown. I was shocked hearing him say that to his audience, not in a funny way. James then pulled out the E.T. car from its box. The camera cut to him putting the game into the Atari. The only kind of editing I saw remotely in the episode. The game started up without him even turning the system on and he started to play. As he was playing, I swore I could hear a slight sobbing in the background. It was like he hated the game on a very personal level. For a split second, a pistol flashed on my computer screen. It was of the Nord bent over crying. I quickly pushed print screen. I still have the pixel, uh, so, and it's the pixel you're looking at right now. Anyway. James only played the game for about a minute before turning the camera towards himself. He had tears in his eyes, not like he was bawling, but enough that you can notice it on his face. He held the camera up and began walking around his game room like as if it were in an episode of Cops. He then found a hammer, like the one in his Nintendo World Champions episode and started to break every single one of his systems and games. 
all while quietly singing his own theme song. After painfully watching him do this, just thinking of all the money he wasted, he went over to his NES that he had ever since he was a child and broke it to pieces. You dumb piece of shit! I wish I never brought you! No, the Nord said, his voice cracking. I was almost about to leave the video when I saw him pick up a gun. It was a real gun and not a zap or anything else. He cocked it, put it to his head, turned to the camera, and whispered, I'm done. He then pulled the trigger and saw himself. Both him and the camera fell to the ground. And that's where the video ended. I was shocked by what I'd just seen, and I quickly left the channel and went back to the Ghosts and Goblins review to try and forget the whole event. I looked at the comic section about 10 minutes later to find that the video was gone. I even checked the James and Nintendo Nord username. The entire account was gone too. So I didn't understand why said person uploaded it only to take it off among with his last whole account all of a sudden. But now I know why James has never done an ET review. And maybe it's for the best that he never does.